guys welcome back to another video today is the much awaited christmas room tour reptile room tour that you guys have been waiting for i did this for my apartment back at school now i'm doing it since i'm home you guys haven't seen my room here except for like in the background of my other videos now you get to see it is zoomus day four i am wearing another christmas sweater i do love this one my hair says, don't hate on my Christmas music. Very accurate. Ignore my horrible style. I really want to show off my socks. So there's my Christmas socks and my Santas. I love Christmas socks. Real quick before I get into it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss more Zoomus videos. And I did make this wreath. All from the dollar store. So the first thing you'll notice is my room is a little cluttered, as it should be since I just moved everything home from college and I lost two pieces of furniture. So let's get into it. First walk in, I have my favorite Christmas sign ever. This is all of the reindeers and then I have my calendar on my door that now, because I'm out of school, I can be strictly for animals. So you'll see I have all my animals here, when they eat, my schedule for multivitamins and calcium, and what size mouse my snakes eat. And then so you can see that I have like, Tootsie Shed, who ate, who needs to eat, and stuff like that. Then here I have my shelves. These were my snake shelves, but now I have a rack. Or not a rack. I have a shelving unit. So I don't need these. So now it's just over here holding random stuff. I have one of my plants. Some Christmas presents for my reptiles. Don't look. I have my closet. And I did this years ago, but I've kind of left it. It has a bunch of like inspirational quotes on it that I really like. Just added some color. Oh, that's crooked. Hold on. So then we have my table. Ignore the basket and the fish tank. That's all stuff I gotta take care of. So this table I got at Black Friday and it's one of those charging tables so i have my camera charging i have a little basket it just has some random stuff in it chargers my pillow spray i have my book i'm reading and my notebook for all of my youtube stuff and then i have my bed which i tried to make christmasy i can't afford an actual christmas blanket or christmas pillows so i have this flat blanket that i already had i took my sequin pillow and tried to make it christmasy and then I did find one Christmas pillow that I could afford and really liked. For the interruption, but I just bought a new Christmas pillow. It says, slow ho ho. I figured since I got Halloween sloth pillows, why not get a Christmas one too? So it doesn't exactly match the rest of my bed, but it's fine. So Christmas. I love it. So then over my bed, I have some random stuff. This used to be all pictures, but it was kind of busy, so I took it down. Now I just have two pictures. So I have my siblings, my first dog during Christmas time when I was literally little, and my other Christmas signs. This one's one of my favorites. Keep calm and get your ho 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 on. This one I got because of my boyfriend. It says no humbugging. So I always point to that when he's here. And then my ho-ho-ho lights that he actually got for me as an early Christmas present. And I love them. Up there I have my signed poster by the Piano Guys. If you don't know who the Piano Guys are, check them out. They are amazing. And then my zebra painting. And my bed. So yeah, and then I have my Christmas lights running across my room. I wish it was sunny out so I could shut the lights off in my room and kind of give you a better idea. But yeah. And I'm gonna save those for last. So we're gonna go over here now. So this side looks a little crowded because I used to have my desk right here with the lights for it. And because of my shelves, I had to take out a lot of furniture. So my desk left because I don't use my desk when I'm home. And I needed these because I have a lot of clothes. So they both got piled over there. So up here, I've just got random desk stuff since I don't have a desk. My movies that I don't want downstairs because they're mine. My fish supplies, my fish tank. So I have one tetra in here left, 
once he's dead, I think I'm going to kind of back out of fish for a little while, focus on my reptiles. Maybe someday when I actually have a place and I like settle down, I'll get back into fish again. But for now, he's my last fish. And you can see he's festive. Santa's snorkeling. And I just have candles, lotion, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry, I do not burn candles in my room with my animals. These are all ones I acquired before I had animals because I like to burn them in my dorm rooms. Not anymore. And then I have my stuff from Florida. So, doing a Mandy kayak. We didn't see any manatees, but we did see dolphins, so that was cool. My elephant painted mason jar with just my highlighters and sharpies. Because what else is I going to do with it? I don't know. And then I have my shelves, which just has a bunch of random stuff. My favorite books. Um, so this is the more exciting shelf. These are the roses that my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day. I put them in a shadow box in the shape of a heart. Very difficult to do, but I managed. And then I have some paintings over here. The one in the back was Arcadius's very first painting that I did with him. The one in the front is actually a penguin painting from the aquarium from my internship this semester. And then this amazing bowl that I love so, so much. It has all of my hand sanitizers and chapsticks. That way I stop losing them. They're all in one place. More desk stuff. Oh, and then I have my feathers. These are actually scarlet ibis feathers. I snagged them out of the rainforest this summer during my internship. And then we move over here. So you guys might remember that from my dorm room, not dorm room, my apartment bedroom tour. Now I have nowhere to put it, so it's over there. I have his humidifier and Arcadius's enclosure. I need to put his tub of water back in there, took it out to clean. You can see him up there. Ooh, his glass needs to be cleaned too. Ignore that temporarily. I will clean that. Um, and he's festive. He's got his snowflakes back up there. He had those up there last year for Christmas. I put them back up there again this year. Hi, buddy. And then underneath, I have my recycling. And I have extra reptile supplies. So all my lights, tools, whatever. Um, ignore this random table. My sister is getting that for Christmas, so I have nowhere to put it. And then we move over to my window. My favorite part of my room are my windows. I do have three. The blind is broken on that one, and Arcadius is blocking that one. So, my main window. So, I have my plants. Another plant. All my plants are kind of dead. Um, are working on it. That one got attacked by my sister's plant, or my sister's cat. So, yeah. And then, back here, I have all of my air plants and some random stones, I guess you'd call them, rocks. And then here's the exciting part, my Christmas table. This is actually a 40 gallon breeder and I just threw a tablecloth on it. And I have my Christmas tree with all of my animal painted ornaments. If you wanna see that more, I did do a video on it. It was day two of Zoomus. I will put it up here. You can go and check it out. I have my light sign. I have my fun little ornaments. I do have another set of lights like that that I meant to put in here. I have to find them. But yeah. Behind here I do have my bowl of snake sheds. I didn't know where to put it at the moment so I just kind of stuck it back there. So underneath here I have my art supplies and then I have my feeders. So I have my crickets, my mealworms, and more super worms. And then I have these shelves. These were in my room back at school too. I have my spray bottle that doesn't really have a place. My cleaning bucket and trash can, they just kind of go where they are needed. The top is the most organized part. So I just have plants, decorations, yada yada. Then I have like reptile foods and supplements and cricket food and stuff like that in there. This is just random stuff. Um, down here I have mineral oil, just like my feeding stuff. So mineral oil, my bucket for thawing mice. I usually have my feeding tongs down here. Those are some trays for mice, so I have to leave the mice in there. Down there I have Tootsie's enclosure, and actually Tootsie just shed. So let's go ahead and check that out. So she did use the humid hide I put in there for the first time. 
to make sure she's not in there. Oh, she's still in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get her out of there. So underneath, as soon as I opened it, she came right over. But there's her shed. So I'll get that out of there. Look at that. Freshly shed. Absolutely gorgeous, darling. And she's going to go down my sleeve. Okay, bye. So Tootsie is festive as well. She does have a gingerbread house in here. I have to clean her water. Bye, Tootsie. So I'm going to have to clean the top of that. But whatever. I just have some water over there. It's not spring water. It's water I put in there and treated. I finally got it all out of the moss. It does look like I got a pretty full shed from her. It's all like kind of tangled up in here. You can see I kind of ripped it trying to get it all unraveled and folded. But I would say the human hide was pretty successful. All right, now we can move on to the part you guys have been waiting for. My shelving unit that I got for all of my animals. So here it is. I'll just kind of start off to the side. I have my cleaning supplies down here. Um, back to bark, my tripod. And starting at the bottom, I do have like random stuff shoved under there. Um, empty tanks. This is tinsel. Um, this is moving supplies that I'm moving with my reptiles. This is the stuff that they go in. I have Phoenix's enclosure, who is due for a remodeling. I need to. I needed to get an under tank heat mat for her. So I didn't want to fill it with Aspen and then have to go dumping it around to stick a heat mat on. So I went paper towel. As you can see, she kind of destroyed it. But now that I have a heat mat, I will do that. Over here, we have a Snicket's enclosure. Um, extra tank back there with just some random lights and the Aspen for her enclosure. Up here is a little friend you guys actually have not met yet. But I won't introduce him yet. I'll do a uh, meet my pets video and introduce him then. Over here, I have my Christmas card from last year from Jordan. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you should. That's her iguana. Super cute. She is amazing. You should go follow her. I have an extra tank back there. My hand sanitizer. My super worms that I didn't put away last night. And my gecko enclosures. So this is Pip. You guys know she's my encrusted gecko. She has a Christmas tree in there. And if you follow me on Instagram, you have actually just found out about this girl. Um, if you don't know about her, I'll save her for the Meet My Pets video. But this is her enclosure. And she does have a Merry Christmas in there. And you can see I have my light up garland going across it. More Christmas stuff. My Christmas sign. I have all of my skating medals and ribbons hanging over here. There's my power strip for everything. I do have another power thing on the bottom, you can see. So I have extra bedding, Eco Earth, my extra fish tanks. And a bin that has my extra lamps in it, so the ones that are down here actually need to go up there. And my pothos, which is the best looking plant that I own.